Yeah, it's unfortunate. I miss um, I miss Nish- um, well, Nishka. I don't miss her yet because it just started. But I miss I miss Adam and uh, Jill. They were they were they were very competitive against each other okay. and funny. Okay. Hopefully, they'll come back too. I hope. I hope. Not really sure why they they stopped. All right, so let's get started. Dum, 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 dum. So today we're going to do what we were supposed to do in the last class, which is going to be lesson. What is it now? Lesson lesson five. Making plays. That girl who is ready to going to be competing in snowboarding, or she is competing, and she's talking about how hard the training and everything was, and how to become once she got sponsorship and had to have a special coach and. And her, her journey trying to go to the Olympics and some special games for snowboarders. That's one one activity I never I never tried. I never tried snowboarding. Skiing I did, but never snowboarding. So we'll have a lot of snow questions. <laughs> All right. So this is when they represent oh how they got please watch way you want to start. National. <laughs> The national anthems, the song of a country, national team, uh, national bird, could be national f- flag, things that represent the country you are from or the countries that are competing in a global event. Yeah, yeah national. National nationality and nation is the place. Yeah. Ta, try another one. Her daring style brought her... Mm, in the 2000s. Yeah. In order to become famous, something has to come to you first. What is it? Attention. Attention? Well, that's true. You got to have a following because you're, you're not going to be famous if you don't have people who follow what you do. That's for sure. Uh, the state of being known or recognized by, see, we don't say a life of famous, right? It's a life of what, right? Her daring styles brought her, mm, brought her famous. No, she became famous by many people because of your achievement, skills, etc. It's a noun. Famous is the adjective, so it would be the noun of famous. No. Mm, yeah, because famous is an adjective, right? Famous people, famous footballer, famous movie. Well, movie wouldn't be famous. That would be classic or something like that. But what's the noun? Fame. Fame. Yeah, just fame. Fame came to her. Yeah. Oh. She spent her life running after fame and fortune. Fame and fortune. Yeah. To be famous. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Fine. 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 Yeah. Something Easy steps to succeed. To succeed in finishing something or reaching an aim, especially after a lot of work and effort. So this is a word that we have had before, but it's in our reading. So I figured we'd just test to see if you guys remembered. It's just you now. And I remember you got this one before. Quite a while ago. Um, hmm. Achieve? Yeah, to achieve, right? Yeah. To achieve the things you set out to do. You know, you want to learn the guitar. Well, when you can start playing some songs, you've achieved part of your goal, right? To finish your school, get a university degree, you achieved what it is you wanted to get. Yeah, to achieve things in life. Absolutely. Achieving. Achichi. Achichi achieve. Achichi. Achieve. Achieve. Oh, boy. 
that would be I, I wouldn't want to be in the car if someone else is driving only if i'm driving <laughs> yeah. that would be a long tumble down if you if you if you if you if you hey look at that big rock or it sl broke and slid right there right on the corner hey, yeah yeah that would not be a good road to to be driving on any time of weather especially rain or anything uh -huh. so, but they have a problem it looks like they're out for a walk and all of a sudden there's another problem now they have a mm, to deal with um, yeah. the situation yeah situation that would be She's having a heart attack out in the farm and not a good place to be. And of course, that four by four, a little bit of a landslide here with all the rocks. It's going to be pretty hard. You can't drive over it. The rocks are too big. You're going to destroy your, destroy your truck or, or worse. You're going to get stuck. Oh, yeah. yeah. And they're too big. I'm sure those rocks are too big to get out of the truck and just move them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a while before he gets his truck down off that mountain. <laughs> That's a situation. He's going to have a probably a long hike <laughs> to go get help. Have to come back with a tractor or something. But again, wow, that's a crazy road. They wouldn't give. I, I, yeah, we found this picture in Storyblocks, but they wouldn't say where it was. It's not a CGI. It's a real picture. Hmm. But it's a cool picture. Now, uh, 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 this, this is hard to get a picture for this. To give, to agree to, agree to give or do something that another person has asked for, especially an, an official or a formal act. Really? That doesn't sound like a very good definition for this word. I hope it's the right word. But yeah, it should be because it's all related to university students and student, student loans. Now, I don't know how it works in, in Vietnam or Indonesia or any of these places. But when I went to university... Um, you, you apply for a, well, I mean, un unless your parents are rich or something and they can pay for your education, then that's cool. But that's not the case for most, most students. Most students have to, in the Western countries, have to get what's called a, a student loan, right? And it's, it's a, usually a very low interest loan that you can get from the bank. The government usually backs it. Um, and yeah, the interest is usually low and you don't have to pay that loan until after you finish your education. All right. So I think it's, I think when I went to university, it was, you get a student loan each year or each term, I forget, um, to help pay for your fees and everything and different costs. And then you also, um, and then once you finish school, whether you quit or whether you graduate, it didn't matter. You had six months, and after six months, then you have to start making monthly payments on that loan for your education. Now, they all sometimes the governments give you some free money. So there's a word for that free money because I got both. I got I got the my student loans, and then I also got. extra money for free that I'd never have to pay back. I don't know if they still do it. I, I think America, you, you can qualify for them. They're probably, they're probably more difficult to get now. But what do you think that would be? What do you think we'd call that if the government gave you some money? It's not a sponsorship. It's not a scholarship. What do you think they'd call that? A loan that you don't have to, it's not, well, it's money that you don't have to pay back, which is really rare. <laughs> it's how the economy has built so much too on so much debt and credit now 
Starts with a G. 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 G whiz. Why can't I see your face? What the what the what? Unbelievable. No. It's called a grant. A government grant. Yeah, a grant. I never heard about it before. Yeah, well, I I don't know. I don't know if you guys have systems like that in Vietnam or not. I never went to university here, so I have no idea. Probably not. But in Canada and America, for sure. And I'm guessing most U- European countries have this, too. Yeah, a grant. You know, it might be an extra thousand or two thousand dollars or something, but it helps, you know, get some extra money when you're in school. You're not making much money. I mean, well, if you're working part time, you're making a little bit of money. But other than that, you're uh, you're basically just studying, not making money. Hmm. A grant is what they call it. Now, make sure make sure that we have enough food for the party. I'm absolutely sure that I left the keys in the office. Hmm, it's another word for sure. <laughs> I have no doubt. On <laughs> sure is too easy for me to put in there for you. <laughs> those little sandwiches or whatever they are, they look some good. I'd like to have some of those right now. Mm, yummy, yummy. Having no doubt or knowing exactly what something is true or something is true. Or knowing to be known to be true, correct, exact, or effective. It's not a difficult word. Difficult words come later. (laughs) Are you sure? Yes, I am. What's another word that's stronger than sure? Are you sure? Yes, I'm absolutely. That's what happened. I'm absolutely, Matt is eating pizza. Starts with a C. C. Yeah, but but it sounds like an S. Oh, you know this. These are the easy warm-up ones, G. Certain? Certain. (laughs) (laughs) certainly it's certain (laughs) are you certain you bought the curtains yeah certain these are the easy ones actually there's not too many difficult ones today looking at my my definition here certainty earth base are you there earth base No earth. Oh no, no, that's right. Because uh, I, we gave the girl the night off, the admin, and Lay is teaching out of the school tonight. That's right. That's why there is nobody here. It's just me. I hope they lock the door. <laughs> so lonely. I'm all alone on Mars. Lay is teaching on another planet. A way of doing an activity that needs skill. Right? So that should be pretty easy. And you have to develop what to have skill at something. It's kind of like what the IELTS test is. Right? You already have to know English, but you have to be able to use it in a certain way. Efficiently. We have developed a new for detecting errors in the manufacturing process. He's a wonderful creative dancer, but he doesn't have the mm, of a truly great performer. Not yet. Don't have the the technique. Technique. Yeah. See, he's not quite there yet. He's he's, he's good. He's moving around good, but he still misses the odd step in the routine. He doesn't have the technique down yet. And she's going to smack him if he does it again. Because he's embarrassing her. (laughs) You don't do any dancing, do you? 
No. No, just the guitar and but you do some singing though, right? <laughs> no, I I cannot sing so well. So I just do guitar. You just will play with the guitar. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Techniques. Some people have good technique to do things, some people don't. But practice, practice. Yeah, even working with like young kids, you know, you kind of have to develop a different teaching technique to work with those kids. It's a lot different than working with older kids like you guys. Um, not long ago or at a time that started not long ago. Another one that we've had recently. Recently? Yeah. Recently. I find the one thing I find for sure is when, when in one-on-ones, it's not that way because they're usually weak. And when I do vocab with them, it takes quite a while. But I find with, uh, with you guys, because you guys are so much faster, that if we don't have more students in the class, we, we go through the vocab so much faster. <laughs> <laughs> in most classes, it lasts way over an hour. Recently, yeah, so I don't know what's recently. What is with the girl? Recently, I've been feeling a bit depressed. Oh, okay, so not too long ago. I have seen, uh, have you seen any good films recently? Oh, that looks like a, like a real family. Yeah. Yeah, the, the girl has Asian eyes, but she's got very white skin, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. A mixed. So a mixed family. Yeah. yeah. Exactly what they look like. <laughs> I thought at first it was just a, a picture, but no, it's real. And she looks like my her mom. Doesn't she? Sorry. Yeah, yeah she kind of looks like her mom. Uh, special or this, not any other. Unique. Oh, unique. Good guess, but no. <laughs> <laughs> um, unique means very different. This one is more like, ah, oh, they're very similar. Uh, I have something in mind. I have something mm in mind. Yeah, you could use, often you could, could you use that in a sentence here? Linda is lying on the, well, see, that doesn't make sense. Linda was laying on the sofa doing something unique. Unique is like one of a kind, right? There's nothing unique about laying on the sofa. Now, if we're talking about her hair, maybe we could say she has a unique hair color. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't think I'd ever color my hair that color. <laughs> he wanted a unique type of books. No. Oh, so now we got books in there and we got, ah, another mistake. And I didn't notice it. What the, what the, what's going on? I got to write it on the vocab list here. Darn it. I, I always read these before, before we finish the, the, the slides to okay them. And Lay checks them too, but sometimes we, we, we still miss. Where is the word? Here it is. Fix sentence. <laughs> mm, what's another one? A special or this and not any other. Okay, I don't know how to give you another example. Did you have a mm, idea in mind? He is mm, strange. So, you know, I'll give you another example sentence here. From, 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 from perhaps. Wow. Back over here. Let's see. Da -dum -dum -dum. I'm sure we've had this one too. Okay. Let's see. 
she wanted a mm, type of cactus. He want he wouldn't take just any book. He had to have this mm, one. It's like specific, special. Oh, and as an example, they're special already right there. Why did you ask? No mm, reason. Just making conversation. Particular? Particular, yeah. A particular type. But yeah, particular is kind of, I would think, wow, I would think particular is, um, where is it? There it is. It's kind of like unique, kind of like special. In some cases, it could be interchangeable, right? A particular book, a unique book. But unique usually means like one of a kind, not a, not a certain type. Hmm. A particular story, a particular style, a particular. Yeah. Okay. Particular. Particular. <clears throat> Absolutely. Mm. It's a synonym for absolutely. Adverb. Hmm, I'm just going to text Lay and say, no, Matt, what's going on? No. Oh, she just texted me downstairs in admins. She is here. Unbelievable. She had a class at 730. How is that possible? <laughs> Mm, let's see. Something to add for now. Uh, that one and her office. There we go. No, didn't figure it out yet. Look at the sen Look at the sentences. I definitely saw Sandra. Yeah, definitely. Okay. I definitely saw Sandra getting on the bus, so she must have decided not, not to work late. Okay, what the, what the, what the, what the, what? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, there I hear her now. There we go. Okay, so she'll, she'll text Matt and see what's going on. But I would say this is getting pretty late. It doesn't look like he's going to, uh, doesn't look like he's going to come tonight. He did come again last week after we decided to change the class. About 15, 20 minutes later, it was like 45, 40 or 45. Um, all of a sudden, Matt texted on Facebook and said, don't we have a class? <laughs> sure. you know, uh, yeah, we did, but you never showed up. <laughs> Without any doubt. Definitely. So what's with the picture? Oh, she's getting on the bus. The tram. That's what it is. That's who they saw. That's Sandra. Okay, I get it. You're not dancing. Nope, definitely not. Ah, she's a stubborn girl. Hmm. She just wants to sit by herself and be depressed and drink wine. <laughs> not good. Legal. Mm. I need some. Mm. On which computer to buy? Easy. Advice? <laughs> yeah, that's very easy. Advice. An opinion that someone offers you about what you should do or how you should act in a particular situation. Yeah, get advice. Sometimes when people give us advice, we don't want to hear it from them, but it's supposed to be good for us. <laughs> but I've heard some bad advice before. That's for sure. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> deny? Craig still denies that he did nothing wrong. I'm guilty. I didn't do nothing wrong. I did it wrong. <laughs> no. She denied our visit to the counselor, but she's there. The opposite. 
No, let me pay. I'll do it. No, no, no. I let me do the dishes. You did the cooking. So no, 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 don't argue with me. I mm, I'll do the dishes. You paid for dinner last time. I'll pay this time. Oh, it's okay. I got lots of money. No, 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 no. I, I'll pay this time. Not me. I'd just say thanks and go ahead and pay again. Mm. Oh. Like you, you kind of push yourself firmly, demand forcefully, especially when others disagree with or oppose what you say. Yeah, it could be negative or positive, of course. Um, you know, you, you saw what you saw, and, and you're saying, no, this is what I saw. Absolutely. Are you sure that's? Yes, that's what I saw. Are you calling me a liar? It starts with an I, I-N. I, I N. Insists. Insist, yeah. Insist. Yeah, Craig still insists that he did nothing wrong. It's like, look, man, I don't know what you're talking about. I wasn't there. That's not me. I was sleeping on the sofa. I didn't do it. I don't know these people. You're wrong. She insisted on visiting the counselor. She, they're having marital, 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 marital problem. Marital, yeah. I think that's right. And he, she insisted that they see a counselor, a marriage counselor, to try to figure out their problems. And he doesn't want to go. <laughs> Just leave me alone. Let me drink my beer. Go away. <laughs> Not a good recipe. <laughs> He looks pretty happy. All right. So this is something that is kind of not normal. All right. A person or a thing that is different from what is usual or not in agreement with something else and therefore not satisfactory. Now, it says not satisfactory. It's kind of like a thousand people say yes, and you say no. You know, well, it, it must be right because a thousand people say it. Well, that's not always true. You know, and it's kind of like Trump, right? He's not your typical type of president. You know, he doesn't have a political history. He's a businessman, and um, you know, he he turned around and and made the U.S. economy one of the strongest it's been in I don't know how long. You know, and the, the numbers were way up, but Biden is. A complete opposite. And then, uh, so most politicians kind of go this way with the way they do it, but Trump does it a completely different way. So, like in a bar graph, a chart, you know, like let's say, well, just like one of our uh, in IELTS that we teach on Tuesday with Gappy and those guys, um, we're learning how to write reports for bar graphs or infographs. So you have a chart like this, and there's four cafes. But three of them are trending up. You know, they've made money over the course of the year. You know, some have fluctuated in different lines, but they've gone up over the year. So they've all they've all trended up. But one cafe, which was actually doing the best, has gone down. So there's a word we could say, uh, uh, another word we could use to describe that. It is an abnormal. Well, it's like abnormal. It's not normal, but it is normal for it's We can't use abnormal because abnormal means something that is not normal. And companies going out of business is common. More businesses go out of business than succeed. Right. So that, that would, you couldn't use abnormal in that sentence. You may not know this one. This is the first time I, I put this word in here. And I, well, I took it from the IELTS. So it would, and, and just like him, like he's not quite like the other employees. You know, everybody's on their break or something, you know, and they're checking their handphones. It's not him. He's just dancing around. 
he's kind of a little bit weird, right? But maybe he's a really good guy and maybe he's a really good employee. But when he gets his break, he likes to dance around. <laughs> it's quite different. We call that. Can you say that word? Uh, an anomaly. An anomaly. An anomaly. It's an anomaly. Something that is not going the normal way. You know, it could be in science and experiments. Like this is not. It's supposed to do this, not that. It becomes an anomaly. 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 <clears throat> yeah, that's a really good new word. Because you'll see that word for sure. What do we call those things? Uh, hmm. I've seen it a lot in cartoons. You've seen a lot of these. The name. You see a lot of these in cartoons, huh? Yeah. Uh, well, I. I've always known them, especially the closed ones, like like the one you have over in um, in Halong Bay, the one that you sit inside to go up to Mystic Mountain where the wheel is, the the, the sun wheel. Have you been there yet? Yes. Yeah. So you yeah. Went, you went in the cart, that car on the cable. Yes. Yeah. Some people would call it a cable car. I call them gondolas. I don't know where I got that word, but I, if I remember correctly, when I lived in the Rocky Mountains and the ski resorts, and I worked on a ski resort, uh, we had a gondola that was down at the bottom of the mountain uh, where you parked your cars, and then you took the gondola to go way up into the mountain where the hotel was. And then we lived there. So you, if you wanted to leave the, the, the mountain, you had to take the gondola which that's what we called it, a gondola or a cable car to go back down to the parking lot at the bottom by the highway or wherever it was. I don't really remember now. Um, to go into town to do some shopping or whatever you wanted to do on your day off. But other than that, you just stayed on, on, the, on there. But that's what I call a cable car or a gondola. But the ones you just sit on like this and that brings you up the ski hills it's not closed. You just sit on there with your skis and then you'll, you'll get off at the top there and then you'll ski down, right? Because it's I don't think they'd make much money if everybody had to walk up the hill or the mountain with the skis and then put them on and ski down again. I don't think they'd do it twice. <laughs> so, so they need these to make it easy for people to go skiing five or six times or whatever. And then they're, pretty, they're pretty simple, actually. They're called, it's a chair. And it's just called a chair lift. Chair? Chair lift. Yeah. Yeah, it's a chair that lifts you. It lifts you up the mountain. Because um, usually if it's a tourist place, they don't usually use chair lifts. I think they just use chair lifts because it's a lot more convenient because you have your skis on, your skis or your snowboard. Uh, and it's cold <laughs> when you're up there. But... Um, but usually in a tourist place, like if you went down to Rio and over the cities and all this kind of stuff, they're usually closed so people don't fall off. Yeah. I saw a very strange movie once. I don't remember the name. I don't remember the ending. I don't remember how it started. I just remember, I remember it was really cheap to make. Because what it was, was a couple of guys, or I think it was, a, not. No, there's only two or three people in the movie. And that's what happened. It was, it was, they were the last people on the ski hill. It was like the staff or something like that. So they had access to the chair lifts. And I guess it was, it was closed to the public now because it was already getting dark or something. I, th I think it was something like that because there was nobody else around and, and there was no, the, no the, the chairlift broke. So they were stuck way up on the chairlift and it was way too high to jump where they were. And it was, I think it was becoming nighttime. But for some reason, maybe it was the end of the ski season and everybody went home. Maybe that's what it was. 
because it seemed like they were there for a few days. And what happened was one guy thought he could jump off and he would be able to, 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 to survive the jump. Well, I mean, survive, yeah. But it was kind of like these guys. They were high. If you, you, you fall from that height in the cold, you're, you're probably not going to die, but you're probably going to break your leg or both legs or something bad's going to happen. It's just too high. Uh, and that's what happened. He broke his leg. So he was stuck on the mountain with a broken leg. But they had wolves. Oh. So, so it became very, very serious. Um, and, and wolves love to hunt wounded animals and we're still animals <laughs> um and i think the wolves ate the first guy but the other guy was still stuck on the yeah they they the, the whole bunch of them came and they just ate him <laughs> and um but then the other guy he eventually had to try to jump too but i don't remember what happened in the rest of the movie Maybe they all just got eaten by wolves. I'm not sure. I don't remember the name. <laughs> but it was a really low budget movie. <laughs> there was no cast. The whole movie was one to one place. Only a few people there. But it was a really interesting. I, I remember being interested watching it. It was like suspenseful. Sometimes they make movies like that. That it doesn't cost too much money to make. But it's got a good story. Did you ever see any movie like that? Did you see the movie where... Just a few people out on a boat made a movie. But what happened, of course, was they they went swimming but on their yacht, but they forgot to put the ladder down so they couldn't get back onto the boat. So they were stuck in the water. Right? A lot a lot some some boats you have to you have to lower the back or you have to put the ladder out so that you can climb back into the boat, right? Because how are you gonna yeah. climb climb the boat to get back in if you go swimming in the middle of the ocean? But something happened where they forgot to put the ladder out or whatever it was, and they couldn't climb up the boat. So, and of course, like the wolves, guess what started coming around? Sharks. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Ah! Ow! What the? I only hit the button once. What the? What the? What? Unbelievable. Did you see it? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I lived in a place like this for one winter. It was really cool. And then I worked in the, the really fancy, fancy crow's nest um, dining room. I had to wear a tuxedo and everything, and but made some pretty good money and had a lot of fun. Could ski for free every day because we were staff, so it was free. It was cool. Yeah, lot, Lots of people tourists coming every day but it, you know what i found out though what i realized about ski hills is how many people get injured and it was crazy every week at least one time a helicopter had to come and rescue someone um and apparently apparently you know it's not uncommon that someone dies every week as well yeah you know, they start skiing and they go too fast. And they, they, uh, I remember one guy died on the ski resort when I was working there because he, he lost control of the skiing. He was going so fast and he crashed right, right into the pole for the, uh, for the chairlift. And that's just a big concrete pole, you know, and he was going like 50 kilometers an hour or something and smack. That was it. <laughs> yeah. It, it's really dangerous. It's actually really dangerous. They, they have to sign a, a a re release form or something when you go skiing in some of these places that if something happens, well, you know, it's your own risk. All right. So I already told you the name. Uh... <laughs> I already told you. Jump, jump. Five, four, three, two. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's the same thing they call these electric. Well, that's not well. These electric, tra excuse me, electric trains in cities too. Now, actually, weird enough, I don't think that one is. I think that one is just called an electric train. But especially the ones that 
you see the electric poles coming out of the top. I don't want to give you the word. No. Well, what is that 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 little cabin, that little cart, that little that little yellow thing, that the little bus? <laughs> what is it hanging on? Uh, what do you call what do you call those lines? Uh, well, how, we have do, no idea. How do you run the electricity through your house and plug your computer and everything in? What do we use? What do we use? What's this? Nah. <clears throat> Can be steel or wire. Cable. Cable car. Oh. Yeah, yeah cable. So that's the like or cable. Well, the line is called a cable, so that's why they call it a cable car, right? It's attached to the cable. Um, and it seems like this picture was changed or something. I'm not sure what happened. I remember doing the slides with the girls. But I think for a bus like this, the electric ones, public service, public transportation, because you saw there's an actual normal bus behind, behind this when it goes by. And this one is on tracks, but there's a bus there. You can see it on the side. Right there. That's a bus. But this one, many of these operate now either the tracks are electric, but I think I think that I think that the tracks, it's dangerous if they're electrified because someone could get hurt, I think. So what they do is they they have these cables that run over top of the tracks, and then they have these extensions like um like this, and it touches the the, the wires. And it just runs and it slides along the wires, and that's how they get the electricity. That's how I, I thought it worked. I, I could be wrong. Um, I could, I suppose, search on, 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 on the internet. Maybe what I'll do is uh, when I edit this video, I will uh, look up the actual definition of how a cable car, an electric cable car works, whether they get the electricity from... The, the the rails on the bottom or overhead because it looks like this one is getting its electricity from the tracks doesn't look like there's any is there anybody driving this thing no no it's just it's automated yeah there's no driver okay i'll get some information on that where are they hard rock cafe where powell and market hyde beach Fisherman's Wharf, San Francisco. Okay. Yeah, I thought they called them. Well, it must still be a cable car. Do you know what Chernobyl is? No. No, yeah, it's amazing. They should teach all this in school. Well, what about that dog? What about that park? What about that neighborhood? What about that house? They are all what? All have one thing in common. To live in a place, think so. Habitat? Really? Who do you think lives in that house? You see anybody in that park? All the growth, overgrowth on it now? Nobody lives there. Nobody. Yeah. It's not haunted. <laughs> Look at that poor dog. Do you think he has a home? No. No. It's really sad. I hate seeing some countries. They have a lot of stray dogs and wild dogs. It's so sad to see that. Yeah. I get very angry when people get animals and, and they don't know how to take care of them. It's like, if you don't know how to take care of it, you're not going to make the commitment, then don't get one. Simple as that. So I get, I get very upset. In Canada and, and America, the laws are really strict about animals. You know, you, you, you get in a lot of trouble for um, not taking care of your dogs or, or hurting your dogs or having them fight or anything like that. I think it's five years. I think it's five years in jail if you kill a dog. 
I, I kind of said the word half. <laughs> half. Uh, you have my congratulations. You better not actually. You know, hire a hog. Huh? Burning money. Burning money is illegal in the United States and is punishable by up to 10 years in prison. Not to mention fines. I wonder why that is. You know, it's your money and you want to burn it. So what? Burn it. But no, you could go to prison for 10 years if you burn U.S. dollars in the U.S. There you go, to uh, A dog in Canada. Here we go. Let's see what it is again. Uh, well, it is it a crime to injure or kill a dog or a cat in Canada? Here we explain how Canadian courts have imposed punishments for crimes committed against dogs and cats. Yeah, no crimes. Oh, so what do they say? Yes, it is a crime in Canada to injure or kill a dog or a cat. It is, it is also a crime to endanger a cat or a dog, cause unnecessary, unnecessary suffering to cat or dog or cause damage or injury to a cat or dog while they are being driven or conveyed. Injuring, endangering, or causing unnecessary suffering to a dog or cat are serious offenses and may be punishable by jail. The Criminal Code of Canada allows for the punishment of, yeah, I was right, up to five years in jail upon conviction. And Dictable offense and a ten thousand dollar fine, or eighteen months, or or it's a ten thousand dollar fine and eighteen months in jail, or both, for conviction summary. Can wow, yeah, no, it's pretty serious there. Abandoned. Yeah, someone abandoned the dog, right? Because somebody, <laughs> somebody had the dog at one point, probably, unless it was born out from other wild dogs but you know if you leave the dog in the park and you don't take him home then you abandoned him right it happens sometimes sad but it happens that house i don't think anybody lives there and the door's wide open there's holes in the walls that's an abandoned house nobody lives there anymore abandoned and this is an abandoned uh, town chernobyl and yeah it's a it should be taught in school. This was one of the, as far as I know, one of the first nuclear accidents that happened in Russia. It's in Russia or, yeah, it's in Russia. It's, I thought it was, I forget where in Russia now. I think it's really close to the Ukraine, if not in the Ukraine, but it said Russia and it wasn't that long ago. Um, it was a nuclear reactor blew up. And the radiation was really, really, really bad. And many, many people died from radiation exposure. And the whole town had to be evacuated. Even the people that were evacuated that survived, they ended up dying because they had too much radiation in their body. Um, and it was a very terrible, terrible event. Um, and I don't remember what it was, if it was mechanical failure or human mistake. But anyways, a nuclear reactor, they had a nuclear meltdown or whatever they call it. And this is the name of the, the town. And it's, of course, it's, this is what it looks like today because nobody lives there. But apparently, like they go back and they test waters and they test the soil and everything for radiation now. But apparently now after, well, okay, again, let's see. Just the two of us, so we can have all kinds of conversation today. Let's have the details here, not just what I remember. Chernobyl. Apparently now the wildlife has all uh, moved back in. And uh, the radiation has mostly gone away from what I understand. The Chernobyl disaster was a nuclear accident. That occurred 26 April 1986 at the number four reactor in the Chernobyl nuclear power plant near the city of 
Pripyat, Pripyat in the north, the north of the Ukrainian SSR in the Soviet Union. So I got to look, check the map after if it's part of the Ukraine now or whether it's actually, I don't know where it is. Uh, but it just said, let's see, animals. Let me just made a movie about it too. Okay. Animals. Here we go. Uh, contrary to what one might assume Chernobyl, the site of the deadliest nuclear accident in history, is a virtual refuge for wildlife. Deer, wolves, dogs, and more exotic species like lynx and unique named horses, wild horses. The animals of Chernobyl, Chernobyl and the surrounding red forest are numerous. So I guess it's good to know that even after a nuclear disaster, things will go back to normal eventually. Uh, are animals still radioactive in Chernobyl? Elk, red deer, bo boars, wild boars, and other wildlife thrive in the radiation-contaminated preserve, largely off-limits to humans near Chernobyl nuclear power plant. No, so I guess it's still... The animals can live in it for some reason. Do Chernobyl have mutated animals. <laughs> Most mutant animals prefer our long life animals in lakes close to Chernobyl nuclear reactor. Genetic mutation further away. Yeah, I, I'd have to read more about it, but I, I saw a little bit about it, and um, apparently a lot of the radiation has gone away. So that's good. Yeah, Northern Ukrainian SSR in the Soviet Union. Got this one? An amount of something that has been collected. Snowbank, all the snow has been piled up on the side of the street. All the dishes piled up in the sink. I have been saving money my whole life. I'm rich now. I'm very, very rich. Yeah. Chernobyl is in the north of the Ukraine, not in Russia, but almost like between, between, well, see the USSR, I guess at that time, Ukraine was part of Russia, but it's between Belarus. Chernobyl is right there. Okay. What do you call it when you save up lots of money and you make investments and different things or, you know, all kinds of things that you save build up. Uh, Start with A. Uh huh. Oh. Ah. 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 something. I think. Yeah. A Q. Accumulate. Accumulation. Accumulation. That's right. You got it. Accumulation of something. Accumulation of snow. Accumulation of dirty dishes. Accumulation of money. To build up an amount of something that has been collected and can, could continue growing. When I was a kid, we had some snowstorms when I was in school. And the plows would come and push the snow onto the sidewalks, of course. So the kids, nobody really went for walks until when there was that much snow outside, of course. But, of course, as kids at break time, we'd go out and play in the snowbanks, play king of the hill. Silly things like that. And push each other down. But one time I remember a storm, the hill, the snow banks were so high that it was dangerous because when you walked on top of the snow banks, you were as high as the power lines. Oh. <laughs> All the electricity. It's crazy. Accumulation. Yeah. Whoops. Accumulation. Accumulation. Mutilation. Accumulation. Accumulation. Another good word to add to your arsenal of vocabulary. Yeah, I managed to get a Coca-Cola in here. What is it? These are videos. I'm sure they are. Yeah, they are. What is the can made of? A chemical element that is a light silver colored metal used especially for making cookie equipment and aircraft parts but for many, many other things too. Nope. 
looks like we have no mat either. Oh my god, terrible. Bah. Oops. Now you don't know what the cans are made of? Beer cans and pop cans and all these other soda cans. Uh, metal? <laughs> what kind of metal? It's not made out of steel. It's not made out of titanium. <laughs> Uh, maybe allium. Yeah, there's two ways to say this. I think the American is aluminum. They, aluminum. They, we don't pronounce that I. Aluminum. That's how I grew up. Always. I even had a, a summer job once when I was a kid, a part-time job, and it was it was recycling aluminum, and we had to. We had all these cables, and it was all this. They they would like like a, a braid, like how you do your hair with the three and roll it in together. And this wiring was aluminum wiring and it had it was all done like that. But it was so hard on your hands. Your hands felt like you were gonna they were gonna fall off because you had to unwrap all the aluminum and separate everything, get the aluminum out. And uh yeah, it was a very painful job. And you got paid by, of course, how much aluminum you produced on your working day. So you really had to work hard and, you know, the harder you worked, the more money you made, but no, it was a tough job. It was not fun, but it was a good experience. But I guess that this, well, is this the British pronunciation? Let's find out here. Let's go back to the Google. All right, here we go. Uh, aluminum. Let's see what that happens when I type this in. Aluminum. Aluminium. Aluminium is how this is pronounced. Aluminium. I have a hard time saying it because I'm so used to saying aluminum. Um, mini. Aluminium. 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 Aluminium, yeah. Alu. The stress is on. Then you start low. Alu. Alu. Aluminium. 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 Okay. <coughs> Cambridge here. Now there's going to be a couple of pronunciations. I'm sure I saw. Aluminum. Oh, it's the other way around. The UK says aluminum, not aluminium. Aluminum. And the Americans say aluminum. What? What? Okay. Okay. What the, what the, what the, what? So why is what, 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 aluminium? Aluminium. 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 What? Okay. I'm sure when I checked aluminium versus aluminum, it was the same thing. But let's check again. Because now I'm confused. Aluminum versus aluminium. Here we go. Yeah. Aluminum became preferred in the United States and Canada, while aluminium became favorite throughout the rest of the English speaking world. Okay. So, no, that is, they're not saying it like that in Cambridge, but North American English. What the what the what? Ooh. Oh my 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 laptop suddenly sucked out because low battery. Oh, I had to plug it in. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. Forgot to charge. Yeah, I always leave mine plugged in. I never unplug it. Ah, uh, aluminium. Okay, so yeah, I am I am right. It says right here, aluminum became preferred in the United States and Canada while aluminium became favored throughout the rest of the English-speaking world. So it's in North American. They say aluminum, but aluminium is the original word. Yeah. Not to not give enough care or attention to people, things that are your responsibility. Well, yeah, I guess you'd have to say responsible that you'd be responsible for because why wouldn't you do it? This could be the government or something about the poor people. 
taking all their natural resources, him not taking care of his teeth, I guess, and the parents to the daughter. So he did what to his teeth. The parents are doing what to their daughter. And I guess we'll have to say the government is doing what to its people. Ignore? It's kind of like ignore. And, and some people would, would say, would use that word in this situation. But, you know, to maintain, to, to keep it, to, to be responsible, to, you know, it's just like a house. If you don't fix it up when things break, it starts falling apart, right? Because you have been mm, the house. You know, you always have to take care of it. Or uh, same as relationships, you have to give it attention. Yeah, if you don't, they're, they're, they're going to fall apart eventually. It's just the way the world works. So whether it's a machine or whether it's a garden, whether it's people, it's just a fact. Law of the universe. That's quite the drone picture of that, 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 that village. Wow. Pretty rough. Yeah. And millions and millions of people have to live like that. It's terrible. All because of corruption. All the money's in the hands of just a few people, and everybody else has to suffer. Now, starts with an N. Kind of wish we had the full picture here. I'd like to see what, what is it? Neglect. Yeah, Absolutely. neglect. No, neglect. That's the word. Right? Oh, yeah. Neglect. Neglecting the social services and education and creating such poor conditions for people. You know, the neglecting, not giving attention to their daughter, too busy with their own lives in their Facebook. He neglected taking care of his teeth. And now, well, actually, his teeth don't look bad. It just looks like they need to be cleaned and he needs to start taking care of them. They're not, they haven't fallen out or anything. But either way, yeah, neglect, not, not taking care of the things that you need to take care of. And, you know, that could be neglecting your education, neglecting your personal health. If you don't do it, you don't take care of it. Bad things happen. Yeah. Neglect or neglecting or neglected. Tid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>